In this video, I will demonstrate how to create custom metrics for application performance monitoring, APM, in Oracle Cloud. Custom metrics can be based on any trace query language span filter and can be used to create custom alarms, reports, or dashboards to monitor the performance of your applications in Oracle Cloud. Let's get started. In Oracle Cloud, go to APM Domains and then go to the Domain Details section. On the left navigation, click Custom Metrics. I can use this option to create or edit a custom metric. Metrics are commonly set up to view data related to availability and latency, application uptime and downtime, completed transactions, failed or successful operations, or other key performance indicators. To set up custom metrics, you can use span filters to select the span properties to define different sets of metrics for different spans. In Trace Explorer, I have a query set up that tracks the total order value or revenue for each logged in user. The metric name is complete value D. Now, I can use this value to create alarms, create a report, or to view data on dashboards. To do that, let's go back to the APM domain details and click Create Custom Metric. I enter order value as the name for this custom metric. Next, I can select a span filter from the drop down list, or I can enter a new filter. In this example, I paste the filter from the previous order value example. Now, I can select the metric value source from the drop down list, which contains all the metrics in this environment. In this example, I select Complete Value D. Now, I can choose which dimension I want to include. Choosing a dimension is optional. You can select a dimension if you want to filter the metrics into groups. In this example, I select Username. As a result, I record the order value for each logged in user that confirms an order on the website. In this example, I type dollar for the metric unit, which is a telemetry value. I turn on to enable anomaly detection. This means that the telemetry data is monitored to detect an anomaly. Next, I click the arrow to expand the validate custom metric option. Now, I can define the time range for collecting this metric data. In the example, I see that approximately $140 is the amount of each confirmed order, which happens about every 15 minutes on the website. I select the last 30 minutes from the time range drop-down list to view all the orders in the last 30 minutes. Click Next. Now. I choose where to store this metric data. In this example, I select Wine Store from the Compartment drop-down list. Optionally, to divide the different metrics into groups, I can specify a resource group. The namespace displays that's automatically defined for the metric, the Oracle APM Custom namespace. Click Create. Now. I see the custom metric I just created, specifying to save the order value for each username. Now, if I take a look at the Metrics Explorer, I can select the Oracle APM Custom namespace from the drop-down list. This is the namespace that's always used for custom metrics. After a couple of minutes of collecting and saving telemetry data for this new metric, I can select Order Value from the metric name drop-down list. Now, I see the metric dimensions or groups. The default dimension names are metric ID, Oracle APM type, and resource ID. Plus, I also see the username dimension I specified in the previous step. As a result, the dimension value contains a list of usernames. After some time, when more telemetry data is collected, 
the dimension value list will also contain anomaly data. Next, I select the checkbox to enable aggregate metric streams. This option combines the metric data into summarized values instead of displaying individual values per user. If I do not select the option to aggregate the data, then I will see multiple values for multiple users on the Metric Explorer, and then click Update Chart. Now, I can scroll up to see the results for multiple users display on the Metric Explorer data visualization chart. This is a powerful tool to set up and record custom metrics for your applications with additional dimension values to create alarms, reports, or dashboards based on metrics that did not previously exist in the telemetry data.